This Canvas demonstration shows what modules look like when students log into Canvas and go to their math page. This page is broken up by standards. The first standard listed here is Number Sense. Under Number Sense, you're going to find video lessons on GCF, LCM, and Distributive Property, as well as reteach activities. If you notice on um, this one right here where it says Required Video and Number One, this was the first video that students should have watched. If you go on to Require Video Number Two, this is the second video that students have watched. Now, once students have watched the video, they're supposed to do an activity. If they still struggle with the concept, then they need to go back and do the reteach activities that are listed here. Scrolling down, you can see that we get onto video recording number three, and then onto distributive property. Most students at this point are working on this standard right over here. This is a review standard from fourth and fifth grades on place value, rounding, expressing many, and basic multiplying and dividing. There are required videos in this section. There's required video number six, required video number seven. Now if students hover over the title of the video, it will show the full video because you can see how part of it is cut off so they could see the full title on this. Now for example if students are watching video number seven on dividing one digit numbers once they finish watching that video and have done a few practice problems if they're still struggling with those practice problems they can look directly beneath um, the original link and see that there's two additional video links on basic division and long division. The required videos are always videos that are recorded and made by me or one of the other JLMS math teachers. The reteach videos could be videos that I have found online that are good quality videos and usually they are short. It's also possible sometimes that I will include other JLMS math teachers videos under the reteach videos. Now the way that students can watch a video is they can go ahead and click on the actual um, link. It'll pull up into a different page. Now I'll put a few notes on here, reminders about how you must take notes during the lesson. There's two ways that they can access the video. One is by clicking on the actual picture. Now depending on some browsers, your browser may not allow um, the video to be viewed in Canvas and by clicking this button right here you are basically watching the video in Canvas. Um, if that doesn't work you could always click on the um, HTTPS address which will direct you to the YouTube page that this video has been posted on and both are my the same video. So here I clicked on the YouTube page you can see that it pulls it up. Hi guys this is And going back, if you were to click it here within the video, within Canvas, guys, you can see it's the Canvas. same thing. Now I want to show you if you do click on a reteach video, since these are direct links, when you do click on them, there's been, um, I'm not sure why Canvas does this, but when you click on it, you will see a completely blank screen. What you need to do to access the video is click on the title up here. So you can see when you click up here, it's hyperlinked. So when you click on it, it will direct you exactly to where I want it to be. I'm Carrie D. So moving on, you can see that the next set of videos are... Um, listed here throughout. This goes all the way down. I've got most of the videos for this entire quarter set up in here. The only thing that I need to finish is um, dividing fractions and you can see that I've got that started down here. But all the videos are ready to go. Now a couple other things that I want to show you is at the beginning of every um, standard, if it's a sixth grade standard, so in this case dividing multi-digit numbers, the standard is 6.ns.2.2. The 6 represents a 6th grade standard. When you click on that first one, it says 6.ns.2.2 learning goal and scale. It's going to pull up 
the um, learning goal, which in this case is to fluently divide multi-digit numbers using the sta standard algorithm, and then it pulls up the learning scale. Students need to use this learning scale in order to rate where they're at with their learning of that concept. So for example, once they finish watching this video, um, they should be able to be at a level three. Now the level fours you're not going to find um, is not where all students are going to be after watching the video the first time, and they may not ever get to a level four. Our goal is to be at the level three. The level three is meeting standards. And level three, <clears throat> excuse me, for this one is I can divide multi-digit numbers using the standard algorithm. Um, you can see where if they're at a level two, they can divide larger numbers and explain how they solve them. Or a level one could be I could divide multi-digit numbers by a single-digit divisor. However, this standard talks about dividing um, a three-digit number divided by a two-digit number, which is why we really want them to be at the level three. Once a student has watched the video and has practiced a few practice problems, they need to check their work. If they've done well and they're at that level three, then they could be ready to quiz. If they've done their work and taken a self-quiz, and I'll talk about that in a minute, and they find that they're not really that confident that they should not take the quiz yet in class, and what they should do is go and find um, an additional an additional reteach video that I do have posted directly underneath the link for this one. So the required self-quizzes, so for example, if your student is working on dividing multi-digit numbers and they've looked at the learning goal and scale and have watched the video and have done a few practice problems, they could then move on to the self-quiz. Now this self-quiz is exactly what it is. It's just them quizzing themselves. When you click on it, it'll take you to an outside, um, sometimes it'll open up a different window, but you can see that you've got your self quiz here in this window. And you can go through and just click, and I'm just completely guessing on this one, but I want to show you that um, as students take this test, they can then check it, and it'll tell them which problems they got right. Oh, I did not too bad, an 80%. So you can see that they got questions one, two, three, got question four wrong and question five right. If a student takes this um, self-quiz and does well on it, like gets a four or a five right, and even if they got the four right, I would suggest that they um, look over what they got wrong. If they're at the point where they got most of these questions right, and by most I mean basically four or five right, not three, um, then they could be ready to quiz in school the next day. Some students are um, emailing it to me to show me their results, which is fine. It is not required because this is for them and a practice for them. Now you can try it again. If you try it again, it will give you a different set of numbers. So if you notice that a student has not done well and wants to try it again the next day or after they've watched an additional video, then they can retake um, another mini quiz or another quiz here for practice and submit it. There's also hints along the way that they could click on. And here, it'll kind of give them a hint, estimate, you know, to the place, um, estimate to place the first digit. And it's just little hints that sometimes are more helpful than other times. So I'm going to go back to the home page. And that pretty much covers what the modules will look like. Now, it does look diff different on a mobile device if students are using, um, going to Canvas through Safari or a different browser, it will look like what it looks like this in the video. However, if they are going and using um, the app, which is a free app, it will look a little different, but still basically works the same way. When students are ready to quiz, they could only be accessed um, on line through school and here where students would go to quizzes they need to match up the title that they're working on and click on that and they can take their quiz um, from there. You could also check your grades if students click on grades now this is a test student so you can see that um, I haven't been a very good model student here where I've completed one assignment but you can see what students grades are and this screen will also show you how many times your student or you have taken a particular quiz because if you don't do well in a quiz you go back and work on the reteaches and then you can come back and requiz on it so you can see how many times your student has taken a quiz and how they've done through um, that progression. 
I believe I've covered most everything in a very general sense here. Um, if you have any further questions, please feel free to email me.